Welcome guys, it is day number 8 of my daily draft challenge where every single day I've got to upload a video of me winning the online foot draft. Now in one of my other episodes someone did say that I always say guys when I do my commentaries and that they're exactly right. Whenever I listen back to my commentaries it seems like every other line I'm saying guys at the end of it. I'm not sure why because I never say it to, to any of my mates or anything. I never really say guys but whenever I'm doing a commentary it just seems to come out so bear with me when I do that and hopefully I will end up stopping. So, moving on to this squad here, we've gone for the 4 2 3 1 version 2 formation. We just stuck in for Ronaldo up top. We're going to do some damage with this squad here. Nothing too special, so Liga BBVA, but using in for Ronaldo to our advantage. So, this was the first team we come up against there. 92 chemistry, got a Balian up top, but nothing too special there. So this game was very laggy, so when you're playing in a laggy game like this, you really want to take the lead as early as you can. And we end up doing that around the 44th minute, but the reason you want to take the lead is because when it's a laggy game, there's a good chance the connection will drop, and that's exactly what happened there. So if you've got the lead, you can then just walk away with the win and move on to the next round. So luckily that's exactly what happened to me there, we walked away with a 1-0 victory just after he disconnected at half time, which is exactly what we were looking for. So now we move on to our second match here, who did have Messi up top, but Messi doesn't really worry me on this game. He's definitely better on this FIFA compared to other FIFAs, but he's still not you know, that good of a player. So, in this game, we're going to be doing the sweaty goals if we can, guys. I just really want to make sure I win these matches, and if that means doing a sweaty goal, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. We also make it 2-0 with a dodgy rebound there, but it's always nice to get the two-goal advantage. It just gives you a bit of comfort. However, my opponent was right back at my end. He actually nutmegs my keeper from there, which is really frustrating for me. I really don't expect my keeper to be getting nutmegged in that angle. After that, he also makes it 2 or all after hitting the post and getting the rebound shot. A very soft shot as well right at the keeper. Once again, my keeper let me down there, and my opponent's right back in this game at 2 all. However, luckily here, we end up scoring a goal. A very scrappy one at that, but it doesn't matter. As Tony Cruz's name is once again on the score sheet in this 3-2 lead here. However, I bring my keeper out and that never seems to go well for me. It seems like every time I bring my keeper out, I end up getting punished for it. And my opponent's right back in this game at 3 all. So we're now on to extra time here, but I get very lucky. We hit the shot, it was an amazing clearance off the line, but it went straight back to me. And we end up making this game 4 3. And luckily for us, we're not going to stop here. We end up picking up the ball with the in for Ronaldo. And he spots that gap, he unleashes a shot. We make it 5-3, which is just enough to walk away with the win. And we can now eventually move on to the next round. So, this team here, nothing too special. He's gone for the 4-1-4-1 formation. But he actually had a left back playing in a CDM position. So, there was nothing too scary about the squad, I'll be honest. But I say that about a lot of squads, to be honest, guys. But there's still a lot of people on this game that can use very bad squads and still tear me apart. So, I should never really be saying that. So we are one up in this game at the moment, and it gets even better, we then make it 2-0. But I know from the previous game that a two-goal lead sometimes isn't quite enough. And we may be seeing a bit of deja vu here, as I stupidly wipe him out in the penalty area. No need for a tackle like that, I mean they give penalties for nothing on this game, and they're especially going to give penalties when I'm just taking his legs out like that. So he's going to take it with Messi there, but as you guys see, he ends up going to the top left-hand side of the net, and we end up going to the right. He scores the penalty, and he makes this game 2-1. So the second half has now started, but we've just about approached the goal box here. Not too sure what to do, so we go for the fake shot, cut in, and the finesse shot goes right into the back of the net, and we get that 3-1 lead. However, it does not last too long, as Messi gets a little bit lucky there, and finds Castro, who scores the goal. 3-2 once again, but we hold out for the victory, and we can now move on to our final match. Now this guy had a very interesting squad there, with a Ronaldo, Aguero, and a Barber at top. A squad that I really would, you know, wouldn't mind using myself. However, once again, guys, we get another penalty, which just keeps getting dished out on this game, guys. Whenever you're in the box, you've got a good chance of winning yourself a penalty. Luckily, we score as well just before the half-hour mark, getting ourselves into a good position here. But the second half has now started, and my opponent's in the box, does a sweaty goal, beats my keeper with ease, making this game 1-0. So this was game on there. And Aguero is a player that I haven't actually used yet, but I really do want to. I'm sure he's a very good player on this game. Uh, he's just one of those players that seems to always be good on FIFA, especially when they're one on one. So I really do want to try him out, but you know, in, in the near future. But in this game here, we go straight from centre. We end up scoring the goal with a top corner strike there, making it 2-1. So you know, we're in a good position here. 
But once again, my opponents right at my end, and there was a lot of end-to-end -end match, you know, a lot of end-to-end -end football here, and uh, it was just a very tense game, and there's another penalty being given. I really didn't want to take him out, and I thought that might happen, but, uh, you know, what can you do? On this game, sometimes, it just seems to be that the referee just wants to dish out a lot of penalties. So he scores it, making it 2-0, but luckily for us, we get a 90th minute corner, we score it, we are now 3-2 up in this game, and we can walk away with the victory after we have just won another foot draft. So, I'm going to open the packs now here, and uh, in the future episodes, I'm going to try and stop saying guys so much, I know how annoying it's being. So, uh, sorry about that guys, but if I said it again. But anyway, these, these are my packs I've opened. Thanks for watching guys, there will be another episode out tomorrow, and I'll hopefully stop saying guys.